already the U.S. president is struggling with a surge in migrant arrivals. Shocking pictures have now emerged from detention centers. They show adults and children huddled together in makeshift rooms and separated by plastic sheets. Allegedly, they don't even have adequate access to food. Our next report tells you more. Migrants are flooding the United States border. This is an overflow facility in Texas. A crowded space where migrants, including children, are lying on the floor, sleeping on thin mattresses with foil blankets. They are separated by plastic sheets. Reportedly, this government-run site is housing 1,000 people and they don't have adequate access to soap or food. With the pandemic still raging, there are also concerns over the possible lack of social distancing. Since taking office, Joe Biden has removed some restrictions that were placed by his predecessor Donald Trump. Now the American borders are witnessing a surge. Biden says he knows what's going on. Yes. Are you thinking of going to the border? At some point I will, yes. Do you want to see firsthand what's going on in those facilities? I know what's going on in those facilities. The migrants telling them to stay home, to don't come now. Why do you think that hasn't resonated yet? What more, more can be done, sir? A lot more. We're in the process of doing it now. <laughs> Since Biden's inauguration, American borders have been battling a surge in migration. In February, border officials encountered more than 18,000 family members and over 9,000 unaccompanied children. Central America is driving the surge. For years, citizens of Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador have suffered from the violence of gangs, extortion, government corruption and poverty. But now, back-to-back -back hurricanes have only worsened the situation. The devastation has forced many to leave. This is one of the groups that's making the journey to America. Despite the appeals to stay back, they have decided to leave. We did not come here on a whim, but out of necessity. Unfortunately, nobody understands this. The government doesn't understand the situation poor people are in. What good does our government do for us? If our government helped us, we would not be here. The mission, God willing, is to arrive at the border and work there. Later on, we'll see if we can jump to the other side. Wherever God takes us, we don't have a set place to go. Wherever we land, that's where we will stay. For us women, it's very hard. We risk that anything and everything happens to us, but we come here out of necessity. With the Republicans attacking the Democrats, reports say Joe Biden has dispatched top officials to Mexico and Central America. It seems like Washington is seeking the help of its allies to manage the situation at the border. But with the migrants determined to reach America, it doesn't look like their flow will stem anytime soon. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.